Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys and I hope you guys are all having a nice day, morning, evening, or whatever time it might be that you're watching this. Regardless, I, I hope you're all having a good one so far. And anyways, it's been two weeks since my last vlog video so I figured I'd bring you guys another vlog video. This is going to be vlog number 85 and today it is Sunday, November 24th, 2024 and the time right now is 9.52 a.m. I uh, don't really have much planned for today other than I'm going to be going to the movies sometime today to go see Gladiator 2, which just came out on Friday. Um, I actually watched the first Gladiator movie for the first time on Friday night and I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to go see the second movie, like, before and, like, in a live stream I did a while ago. I know I've said it before, but eh, I figured since a lot of people seem to be liking it, I might as well go check it out myself. I was actually going to go see the movie yesterday, but there was a heavy snowfall warning in my area, and it snowed a lot, and the roads were pretty bad, so I decided to not see it. So uh, there's it's not there's no heavy snowfall warning in my area today, so I figured today might be a good day to go see it. Uh, I'm not sure what time I'll go see it. There's one at noon, and there's one at like 3:45, I believe, is what that other time was. I'm gonna go see it sometime in the afternoon. And uh, believe it or not, I've seen almost a hundred movies in theaters this year, which is more than I've more movies that I've seen in theaters in a single year in my life so it's a new record surpassing last year's record too and um, I keep all my tickets in here just to show you proof that I've seen so many movies I showed this box before a few times in the past and did a a collection video of all the tickets inside the box like two years ago I'll probably do an updated version of that video maybe someday but uh, let's just, uh, I'll show you the inside of the box. Now, this was originally a cigarette box that my dad got because he found it in the, in, I don't know where he found it. He found it at work or something and he decided to give it to me. And so I kept it and I've had this box for about, uh, for about eight years at this point, although I didn't start putting my movie tickets inside it until like, uh, 2017, I'd say. And I keep them all divided all by year. There's 2023, 2022, 2021, 2020, which only had five tickets because, yeah, don't want to get into that there. There was 2019, 2018, and 2017. Yeah, I like to have them all divided by year and... Here's 2024, because I have them into two separate paper clips. Probably soon to be three paper clips, because the second paper clip's almost full. Yep. Look at how thick these are compared to the other years. Yeah, like I, I go to the movies quite a bit. Though that really shouldn't come as a surprise, because I'm a big uh, film buff after all. I love to go into the movies. So yeah, and here's a uh, last year's uh, stack. It's so many movies, and uh, yeah, I'm probably not gonna go into too much detail on all these because that's gonna take too long. But I'll quickly go through some of these, like in order by month of what I've seen, and uh, we'll just start with a uh, uh, volume one, is what I call it. Now. When I was editing this video and going through all the clips, I realized that most of the video was mostly of me showing off all the tickets of the movies I saw in theaters between January to November of this year. So I had to speed up the clips of the movies I saw between January and October and have November played at a normal speed because it would take to it would take up most of the video. But I will be making a separate video having all of these clips unedited. So, just for this video, I had to edit it for uh, time purposes. Right here, it's the June tickets. Here's the July tickets. Yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of movies I saw between June and July. And here's the August tickets. 
The September tickets and the October tickets with the three tickets of the films I saw at the Northwest Fear Festival last month. Here's what I saw in, in November of this year so far at the time of me recording this video from Sunset Boulevard to uh, Heretic. And I saw Magnolia at my favorite theater recently. Fantastic film. I've seen it three times now. And I think that movie is tied with Boogie Nights. It's my favorite from Paul Thomas Anderson. And I saw Nora again. I saw it at the Edmonton International Film Festival back in September, but saw it again because it was so good. And at the time of me recording this video, it's tied with The Substance as my favorite film of the year. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I decided to just show off some of the tickets of the movies I saw in theaters so far at the time of me recording this video. But, uh, yeah. I think I might have to get a new box one of these days because that box is getting pretty full. But yeah, I see quite. I saw quite a bit of movies in theaters so far, and I'm gonna be going to the movies again later on today. Anyways, I'm gonna go shovel the driveway because there's a lot of snow in the driveway because of the snowfall. So I better get right to it. Later. All right, guys. I just finished uh, shoveling the snow. I was out there for a little while, and uh, my nose is a little runny because I've been out in the cold for a while. It's like minus 14 outside. And uh, I decided I'm going to go to the movie at 3.45 is when it starts. I could go to the 12 o'clock screening, which, um, let me see what time is it. Uh, it'll be starting like a half an hour. It takes me like 20 minutes to get to the movie, but I'll go see it later this afternoon. So I'll just chill at home for a while until I got to go. I don't know. Just going to see it uh, later this afternoon, I guess. But, uh. It didn't take me very long to shovel the snow off, snow off the driveway, and I had to get some of the snow off my car. Yeah, so that's done. I then decided to play some video games to pass the time while I waited before I had to go. So, I got on my Xbox. I first played some Destroy All Humans. I bought this game for my birthday back in July. I actually only played it once. So I didn't really get far into the game, so I decided to start the game over from the beginning. And yeah, I played it for a little while. It's a fun game. And I will get the seat wool one day. There was another uh, Destroy All Humans game called Destroy All Humans Path of Fear on. I've played that one. I have that one digitally on the... Uh, I don't know if it's the Xbox One. I think I have it on the 360. I can't remember which one, though. Afterwards, I decided to play a little bit of Halo, the first one. I haven't played this one in a while. Uh, I didn't play for this play this one for very long. I just finished one mission that I was playing the last time I played. And then I started this mission where I had to face off against the Flood. Probably my least favorite enemy in Halo. So annoying when they multiply sometimes after you kill them. It's, it's kind of annoying, but hey. They, they uh, gotta have some tough enemies in the games after all. Soon after, I decided to play the Nintendo 64. I had to pull it out from under my TV stand because I wouldn't be able to play it with it standing on top of my VHS player. I then decided to play the new Tetris for a while. I actually played this one for the remainder of the time I had to wait before I had to go. It's very addictive, of course, because it is Tetris. You can't go wrong with it. I kept telling myself this is going to be the last time level I play before I had to get off, but I probably said that over a hundred times because it's so addictive and a lot of fun. Alright, so I just got off playing uh, the new Tetris on the N64. I've actually been playing that game for quite a while, and actually we gotta go very soon. The movie starts in about an hour from now. Yeah, I kept telling myself, this is the last one, this is the last one, and then eventually I just got off like a minute ago. <laughs> it's Tetris, it's so addictive, I know. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go get some fuel along the way, and I might get a quick bite to eat or something. Either before I go or maybe on the way to the movie, because I haven't even had lunch yet. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be getting ready to go here uh, very shortly. Well, remember when I said earlier while I was shoveling the driveway, I got 
the snow off my car. Well, I didn't get all of it off, so I better get the rest of it off before we go. Well, I just arrived. I'm at the movie. Well, I'm actually still in my car. I just parked my car. Uh, the roads um, in town where I live were kind of bad, but when I got out into the city, they were fine. But the roads in the parking lot are a little bit shit. But anyways, we're here. Uh, we got to get in. The movie starts in like... Movie starts in like 15 minutes, so... Or like... I don't know, like 15 minutes or something? I don't know, but yeah. We're here in time. So yeah, let's go in. Well, I got it. I got my ticket. And I'm seeing it in IMAX. Yeah. Haven't seen a movie in IMAX in a while. Um, yeah. It's good to be here at last. The roads, uh, oh yeah, I already talked about the roads in the last clip, but I forgot to say this. My, I got winter tires and they're studded, so that's good. I mean, not everybody gets winter tires. Like, I don't understand why some people don't get their winter tires done when they can. Like, if they can't afford tires, I can understand that, but like, come on people, it's probably best you get winter tires around this time of year. When the roads get a little tricker, I mean, tricky to drive in, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go get a snack, get my food, and I don't think we have enough time to look around the posters or anything before the movie starts. So I guess I'll talk to you all after the movie, and I'll give you briefly my thoughts on it. Won't do a full review of it. I'll do a full review of it tomorrow, along with the first movie. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Three hours later. All right, I just got out of Gladiator 2, and um, it's starting to snow again. Oh, shit. hold on. It's starting to snow again. Anyways, I just got out of Gladiator. Gladiator 2, I meant. And it was decent. I mean, it was entertaining and all, but I still think it was a really unnecessary sequel. But it wasn't bad or anything, it just it does have its flaws, but eh, it wasn't as good as the first one. But it was entertaining to watch and it was decent, but I don't know, I didn't I didn't love it, but it was entertaining for what it's worth, I'll say that. Um yeah. But like I mentioned before, I'm not gonna do a full review of it here. That's going to be coming up tomorrow along with my review of the first movie. Yeah. I'm going to turn on, turn on my car and then I'm going to head right home. So I guess at this point I'll just end the video right here. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on notifications and share the video. And yeah, you know how it is. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, until next time, this is Key and Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And, yeah, take care, everybody. Peace out. Bye-bye. Oh, look at the... F look at the snow building up on my windshield. It looks... looks kind of cool. Yeah, see you guys.